I'm here by the serene Murray River in South Australia. And whenever I go touring like this, I always love to pick up a bottle of pickles from the side of the roads or from the local tourist stores. So to pay homage to that, I'm going to make my very own piccalilli. It's so simple to do. To start with, I've got one onion here. If you've got baby onions, by all means, you could use them. They're delicious in this. But if not, one whole onion, and I've just roughly chopped it, two stalks of celery, and for our other vegetables, this is the main vegetable in the classic piccalilli. We've got some cauliflower, so half a head of cauliflower, and I've just cut them into small florets. That goes in to a strainer. And some zucchini, I'll get that out of the way so I can use my chopping board. Two zucchini, and then I'm going to cut it in four and then we're going to dice it again, the same size as everything else. Perfect. They can go straight into our colander. And these are very ugly, but gosh, they taste good. These are yellow beetroot. If you can't find the yellow beetroot, don't get that classic purple coloured beetroot because it'll actually stain this piccalilli. Just substitute it for another vegetable or add a little bit more of the zucchini. You can add some cucumber or some cauliflower. The same size as all our other veg. And this really brings a sweet earthiness to this piccalilli. All right, that's plenty for now. So we've got lots of our veggies here. Now it's time for our salt. Now this doesn't only draw out some of the liquid, but it also is going to help preserve this. So pickle it. So one big handful. Now it looks like a lot of salt, but I'm going to leave this sit for about one hour, just with a little tea towel over it. That's going to draw a lot of the liquid out. After that, I'm going to rinse it and then dry it in a clean tea towel, and then we're ready to cook it. salted for an hour and then I've rinsed them with some fresh cold water and now what I'm doing with a clean tea towel is just rubbing them so we get as much of that moisture out as possible so they're ready to go. Now in this pot I've got that on a high heat that's 300 millilitres of apple cider vinegar and we need to balance that out with some sugar so we need a cup of sugar in there and that's what it is with pickles it's all about balancing so the sweetness of the sugar acidity from the vinegar and that saltiness there which we've used now let's give this a mix and we just want that sugar to dissolve which it already has because that's very hot in there teaspoon of allspice along with a teaspoon of ground ginger a teaspoon of curry powder some mustard seeds again another teaspoon and to get that beautiful bright yellow colour, some turmeric, only half a teaspoon of turmeric. And lemon thyme, I love the smell of lemon thyme. I've just picked that. You can use normal thyme or you could use some bay leaves, are fantastic. That's come to the boil, so we can now add our veggies very carefully so I don't tip them out everywhere. Give that a stir, gosh, that already smells nice and it hasn't even started to cook. I'm going to put the lid on just to speed it up. I have a nashi pear here and we're going to add it just at the last minute there. This is again going to give some sweetness to our piccalilli. Last thing to make it thick, I've got two tablespoons of corn flour and we just want to dilute it just to make a thick paste. I'll get a spoon here, mix it in. It's looking good. All right, let's wait another five minutes. Then I'm going to add the nashi pear. I'm going to add the corn flour and then it'll cook for another 10 minutes and then it's ready to be jarred. I do, I've sterilised some jars and we'll add our hot piccalilli now. And what I love about it is make a big batch, just like I have today. You can give it as gifts or it will last in the fridge for quite a while. Lid goes on, seal that and that is ready for the fridge. I collect them, I know, crazy, but they just taste so good. They taste even better when you make them yourself.